After an Austin police officer was sentenced yesterday, a lot of questions remain about what comes next. Travis County judge sentenced APD officer Christopher Taylor to two years in prison for deadly conduct after shooting and killing Maurice Da Silva back in 2019. KVU's Malia Masamoto joins us now live from APD headquarters. And Malia, you spoke with a policing expert about the implication of an officer actually getting jail time. Yeah, Brian and Quita, throughout the course of this trial, a major concern was that following a sentencing of Taylor, what impact would that have on recruitment for the department? Now, I spoke with an LAPD officer, a former officer and sergeant who's testified in hundreds of police shooting cases across the country. And he said in almost all of those, even without a conviction, people are more hesitant to join law enforcement. Now, Taylor's conviction is believed to be the first for an officer in Travis County. When the current Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza took office in 2020, he ran on a political platform of police accountability. As of April this year, his office has presented 98 cases against officers to a grand jury and indicted 32 of those. But only now has he returned one conviction. Scott Defoe, a former LAPD sergeant and use of force expert, says it's incredibly rare for criminal charges to be filed against an officer and surprising that the DA is using money for legal cases instead of helping invest in more officer training. That money could probably be better spent on getting the best version of the law for of law enforcement that we could get with those individuals who really want to serve and aren't doing so because you know once again the uh, pension and benefits and you know salary that a particular department may offer. Yeah. During the trial, two former APD chiefs testified that Taylor did not appear to violate APD policy when he shot De Silva. After Taylor was sentenced yesterday, current APD Chief Lisa Davis released a statement saying APD is continually reevaluating its training and police practices. But some in the community say there's still more work to be done. The Austin Justice Coalition writing today, quote, Morris De Silva's death reflects a larger pattern of law enforcement's inability to adequately respond to people in crisis, often with fatal consequences. That group is also demanding mental health officers to be prioritized and to hold officers to the same, if not higher standards as the communities that they protect. Now, yesterday, Taylor's attorneys immediately filed an appeal following this sentence. The judge is allowing Taylor to remain out on an appellate bond while that whole process plays out. Live in downtown Austin, Malia Masamoto, KV News.